It's pretty weird weather in Texas. So we had this Cat 4 storm coming our way, turned into a Cat 2 storm, still pretty dangerous. So anyway, I was actually going through the material and reading news and I saw this uh, article about Earth actually is passing through an ancient supernova. So how do we know that actually we are passing through an ancient supernova, right? Supernovas are nothing but star explosions, right? When the star explodes, it creates that mega burst. It's called supernova. You will have this material which is pretty rare, radioactive material. It is called iron 60. So it's a rare isotope, iron 60. The strangeness of this particular material is it only lasts like 15 million years. After that, it is going to decay, you know, it disappears, it's no longer there. That material would not have been on the earth since earth was born because earth was formed much older than that. So, only chance that can happen is we must have been passing through like really ancient supernova and that material is uh, the dust, the radioactive dust is still falling on us, on the earth for several years. So talking about stars, talking about supernova. So Jupiter, planet Jupiter, we call Jupiter as a failed star. So what do you mean by failed star? The only way we will understand a failed star is if we know what a star is and how the star is born. It's not complex process. All you need to make a star is you need lots of hydrogen gas, dust and gravity and time. So millions of years of time with enough gravity and with enough pressure and if they push the matter, the hydrogen gas into a smaller space and much smaller and much smaller, it creates heat. The heat goes all the way up to like 15 million degrees. In that intense heat during the time, the hydrogen atoms will fuse together and create heavier particles. If that fusion happens, a star is born. If the atoms, hydrogen atoms are not fusing together, like in the nuclear reactor, there is no star. So Jupiter is, that fusion didn't happen. So it's a giant pile of gas, but there is no fusion happened in Jupiter. That's why we called Jupiter a failed star. Uh, Jupiter is huge planet. Uh, even though we call it planet, it's a gas giant. It's huge, like all the matter on all other planets together even doesn't make as big as Jupiter. I put some new setup here. I will explain this new setup in the upcoming videos. If I can actually animate Jupiter and I can show you the Jupiter's animation. So if you are interested in these videos, I'll also work on different telescopes. So if you are interested in these videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.